What's good, y'all? It's Vaga Man. I'm over here uh, about to try to install the CB antenna on the 2022 Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, come on out here and show y'all what I got going. Uh, let's see if I can make this thing work. So, there it is right there. I'm gonna try to get this thing installed and run it on in and hopefully we can make some work today. Anyway, that's the radio right there. And so I'm gonna try to run it through the back of here, all the way down this pillar on the outside and then to my antenna over there. So wish me luck. About to get on this YouTube university <laughs> and see if we can make some shake. I right, see y'all in a sec. All right, y'all. So I have to watch some videos on YouTube, man. Uh, so apparently, there's a few different ways that you can install this uh, coax cable, or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna try to do. Let's see how do I put this camera around? I know. I'm gonna try to pretty much run it through here and then straight up this pillar all the way up across over and up behind to my cb radio back there uh the reason why i'm doing it that way. so the reason why i'm doing it that way is because the correct way is to run it no through this firewall uh over here back over there uh, it's like some padding back there, but I don't really want to mess with certain stuff because it's a lease truck. Um, so I'm just going to try to run it up to uh, that gap in between the door and all that right there. So anyway, hopefully it works. Um, hopefully it don't pinch a snag. If it starts to pinch, then I guess I got to rethink things. But anyway, that's 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 what I'm gonna roll with. So we'll see how I go catch on the next clip. All right, so the coax cable that I got was this Wilson one right here. Um, this is what it looks like and everything. And I got the one with the detachable end. Uh, they say you really wanna make sure you get the one with the detachable end because that way you can fish it through everything. So pretty much this little piece, it just screws on the end of this and then that piece will go to the back of the radio. Let's see if I can show y'all. Ah, I already got my radio strapped down. Anyway, yeah, so this piece here will go to the back of the radio and just screw into the back. And that's how you get your connection from your radio all the way out to your antenna with the coax cable. Anyway, so I guess I'm going to start trying to put this thing on up. Let's see what we got. Alright, y'all. So the other end of the coax cable, you know, you got the piece down there that you feed through. And then we got the other end that screws in right here. This rubber grommet on it so uh water don't get all up in it but yeah so i'm gonna try to peel this back some and screw it in and i'll show y'all what it looks like when it's done the cool one that crazy um quick tip slide that rubber black piece back so this is exposed and when you push it in you want to make sure that it's all the way to the uh end before you start screwing it down so if you don't it'll look like this
right, so I got all that screwed up. So now I'm just gonna slide this black piece on up. Y'all bear with me, it's hard to do with one hand <laughs> with the iPhone. Uh, come on, thing. And then I don't have, I got a camera mount for my camera, but I don't have anything uh, for the phone yet. So I'm just having to hold it pretty much. Make sure that's all the way up. Pretty much you want to get it up as tight as possible. That way water don't get all down into it. But yeah. All right, so that's that. Now, figure out how to run on the inside. Catch you in the next one. Right, y'all so what i did was like i said i ran it up and over this hinge right here uh, you see the cable going over that hinge i left a little slack in this line um you know just to give it some play that way it kind of reduces the chance of snagging or whatever hopefully the curl in the line don't interfere with the signal that bad but that's what we rocking today
might help if I turn it to loosen, huh? <laughs> Y'all, nah, I had the right way. They were just on there tight. <laughs> Tires on the wet. It was loosen these up. Take off this grab handle. Then we'll be able to, uh, you know what I mean? Start doing the other stuff. Move that wire out of the way. No. Slide it down. Thing on now. Hold on, man. Let me go back in and make sure I'm doing this right. Alright, so next thing I did was remove the screws up here. Three and then the fourth one right here. Uh so that's all I did. Um somehow this thing's supposed to come down. Let's get a flashlight, hold up. All right, so I want to make sure I record this. So if you're looking at where the CB goes, you know, the cubby, you know, that's the driver side. It's two screws, one on each side here, and another one here. 
from there all you do is pull this panel and bam this drop down and from my understanding Anyway, I'm gonna keep on working at them. All right, so back with an update. Looked like a lot going on. <laughs> but no, nah, it's not too bad though. So pretty much, I was doing like I said before, you know, kind of pulling down on this to where I could feed this end of the cable up through and then up to the cubby hole. But I had to take this out. So just like before, you know, it sits in like that. It's a screw hole. It's this one in the back. Take that out. And then I had like a little small flathead that I used to, uh, you know, do my um, my right way scales for the inside of the truck. The calibrated, that's what I'm looking for. Calibrate, calibrate, calibrate. <laughs> anyway, uh, so took that down and you want like the video say you do want to come straight down because those clips right there they'll they can break off so i pulled you know got in there and wedged it and came straight down with it and then this this is the mic for the bluetooth that sits in like this y'all get the gist it just sits right on in there and then i just you know wiggled that a little bit and that came on down so now i'm gonna pull straight down on this whole thing on this whole thing and uh hopefully should come on off after that let's see really hard to do with one hand i need a mount that ain't gonna work anyway i'll just hold on a second i'm gonna try to pull this down I was doing the wrong one. You gotta press that in and get that out. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna forget it. I'm just gonna leave it hanging. Pop this down, man. Should be good to go. Oh, nope. 
Two more screws. Dang, a lot of screws. So this whole thing come off. And now I'm gonna unhook that. That way I can fully remove it. Just get out of the way. Make it a little easier. So I'm trying to show y'all, but anyway, long story short, I ran through the back of that cubby. And now uh, I got it ran through. All I did was come underneath. You can see it through that gap. Once you get that bottom piece off, let me pause it because that's loud. Once you uh, get that bottom cover off, that light portion right here, you can kind of bend this down and finish feeding it through, like I showed you. Run all the way up through, and then you just Stick your hand back there and fish it through, and there it is. So now I'm just gonna try to zip tie this back over here and put this cover on, and you know make sure everything snaps together good and stuff like that. And uh, just you know try to make it as clean as possible. Like I said, got the best insulation. Normally you bring it up from the floorboard and then run it all the way up. But like I said, I was trying to have an easy removal because I'm turning this truck back in one day and yeah, kick it like that. Well, at this point, <laughs> I'll probably just show y'all when I get ready to uh, hook up the, the radio and stuff because it's taking a lot longer than what it should be because I'm trying to record a little bit and like everything too. So yeah, I'll show y'all uh, in a few. See you in a minute. Okay, another update. It's a lot of updates because I should have done my research. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so got that all buttoned up back together. God, oh, this glare, hold up. Uh, got the pieces back on, top and bottom. Uh, next thing I did was the power wire to the CB. Uh, what I did was I hooked that together. And so the this is a 2022 Freightliner Cascadia, and on here the negative wire is the black, and the uh, the power wire is come on focus. Power wire is the brown with the white stripe. See the brown, white stripe. Then you got the black, and then uh, this is a Cobra. Uh, 29 LX um, and so yeah black to black red to brown or orange whichever you want to call it with the uh, white stripe and so now I'm going to show y'all what it looks like uh, powered up here and on the other end it only goes in one way so if you look you got that point is that the point you should match them up Plug it in. Double check it just to make sure. Alright, it's plugged in. So now I test the power. 
make sure it powers on. <laughs> Alright, so we got power. Um, and I'll go through here and try to tune it later. This is more just to install and all that. So uh now you know I'm just gonna clean up these wires a little bit. This will go in the cubby. As you can see, I got the uh coax cable coiled up over here. Put a little zip tie. Well not zip tie, but the twisty ties on there. Try to keep it clean. And I'm gonna shove this cable back inside. I don't know if you can see it, that cubby over there. Let me get a light. I'm gonna shove this back down there in that cubby, try to hide some of these wires, and then uh, you know, hook everything up and strap it down. And then uh I'll show y'all the final product. Uh because after that I'm gonna put you know this back on and all this stuff. Pretty much just clean it up. Long story short. Uh but anyway, yeah, I'll show y'all the finished product, man. Uh, if y'all got any questions um don't forget to you know like comment subscribe i post it on youtube if it's on tiktok follow me on tiktok whatever platform it is do whatever it is you need to do you feel me anyway oh uh, yeah i'll show y'all the final product when i'm done